What's up, everybody? This is Master Ian Gamer, and welcome to the first Overwatch 2 anniversary event. That's right, the one year celebration kicks off today. And in this video here, I've got a brand new Overwatch blog post outlining the contents of this year's anniversary event, including the return of many fan favorite game modes, a new anniversary shop, which lets you buy Overwatch 2 skins with credits as opposed to coins, and even a little tease for an upcoming new crossover. So let's jump right on into it. First up, party and play with Overwatch 2 Anniversary 2023. The first anniversary of Overwatch 2 is here. Millions of players have already answered the call, and we're celebrating with lots of fun rewards. For three weeks, you'll be able to play returning modes from past events throughout the year in the arcade, along with the chance to earn Overwatch credits, which can be spent on fan-favorite skins in a limited-time anniversary shop. Keep reading to find out more about everything coming in the Overwatch 2 Anniversary Event. It then goes on to list the game modes which will be available over the course of the Anniversary Event. Week 1 includes Winter Wonderland game modes and Battle for Olympus. Week 2 includes Assault, Kachamari, and Starwatch as the game modes. And Week 3 includes the Summer Games modes and Mischief and Magic. Now, you may notice that the Halloween event is curiously absent from this lineup, and I'm assuming that's just because we're actually coming up on October pretty soon, so Blizzard probably figured why bother throwing in the Halloween event if the actual Halloween event is gonna be coming up pretty shortly. So while we may not get to play Junkenstein's Revenge during this anniversary event, we at least have Halloween Terror itself to look forward to pretty soon. But moving on from the game modes and onto the anniversary shop, earn credits to redeem returning shop skins. Earn up to 3,000 Overwatch credits when you complete all the challenges that appear throughout the event. Use them to purchase returning premium skins in the Anniversary Credit Shop, including Space Raider Cassidy, Beekeeper Sigma, Hermes Lucio, and more. You'll also be able to save your credits for new opportunities on other popular skins coming in later seasons. So, this new Anniversary Credit Shop does seem to be a brand new shop that'll be appearing in-game, which will actually let you use those Overwatch credits credits, which if you're a veteran Overwatch 1 player, you likely have a ton that you carried over from Overwatch 1, and even if you've only just started playing in Overwatch 2, Blizzard has given out many of these via the battle passes themselves, alongside various event and seasonal challenges, which means if you've been playing the game to any extent whatsoever, you likely have a decent amount of these built up, and now you'll actually be able to use them to purchase shop skins, in the limited time anniversary shop, that is. Now, it does sound like not every Every Overwatch 2 skin is going to be purchasable in this manner. It seems like there's going to be select skins available to purchase by these means. Although the ones they do list here are actually kind of interesting. Space Raider Cassidy was a skin that actually wasn't ever in the Overwatch 2 shop, but rather was part of the Watchpoint bundle, which came out prior to the launch of Overwatch 2, and was sort of the paid version of the game. Likewise, Beekeeper Sigma was only available through spending actual money on the game, and was available in the Season 3, I believe, Ultimate Battle Pass bundle, which could only be purchased with real money as opposed to with coins. So it does seem like some select limited time skins, even beyond those which directly appeared in the shop, will now be available with credits, which is awesome. However, we don't know just how many skins will be available by this means, and it seems like there's probably going to be some sort of rotation of skins over the course of the anniversary event. So I guess we'll just have to see what actually ends up appearing in in this new anniversary shop as the event goes on. But getting on to the final bit of intrigue mentioned in this blog post for the Overwatch 2 anniversary event, thank you for making this past year special. While there have been a lot of new experiences and seasonal events, we can't wait to show you what's to come. Be on the lookout for new experiences in the future, including an all-new crossover event starting in Season 7, and lots of exciting news coming this BlizzCon. The adventure is just beginning, and you are not going to want to miss it. So yes, we did know that there was an upcoming crossover event sometime later in 2023. This is something that was announced 
quite a few months back at this point, but we didn't really know when exactly it was going to be taking place. Well, now we do know it will in fact be in season seven, but unfortunately they don't give any further insight just yet as to what this crossover is. Now, just a bit of speculation, I'm assuming this crossover is going to be more on par with what we saw with the One Punch Man collab, as opposed to what we saw more recently with the Gentle Monster collab. The reason being that Gentle Monster seemed like a fairly small collaboration that basically just had the two recolored diva skins as part of it, and was a collab which really didn't get any significant hyper promotion leading up to it, whereas the Doomfist One Punch Man event was a huge thing that had its own custom home screen, a bunch of promotion and excitement around it. So based on the way that Blizzard has been teasing this upcoming Season 7 collab, I'm willing to bet whatever it ends up being, whether it's another anime or some other video game crossover type collaboration, it's probably going to be something more akin to what we saw with One Punch Man, or at the very least, I hope it is, because I think that'd be a lot more exciting, but we do have to wait and see. And on that note, thank you all so much for watching this video. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the Overwatch 2 anniversary event by dropping a comment down below. Is there a specific skin you're hoping to see in this brand new Overwatch anniversary credit shop? And what are you hoping this new collaboration is coming in season seven? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, and otherwise be sure to subscribe, hit up that bell icon, come follow me on X, and join my Discord server to hang out and never miss any of my future Overwatch news, streams, and content. Speaking of which, if you are watching this video as I published it, then I will be live playing the anniversary event, so please feel free to come by and check it out. Special thanks to my YouTube channel members who help make these videos possible, and if you'd like to join them to earn some cool rewards, then just hit that join button down below. And otherwise, this is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.